Hey y'all, welcome to Homestead Budgets. My name is Heather and today I'm going to be doing my farmer's market cash stuffing for the third week of June. I'm going to be stuffing a total of $1,200 today um, and we will go ahead and get that set up while I go over a couple more things with y'all. So we've got one 200 in placeholders, three, four, five, six hundred, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine hundred. 20, 40, 60, 80, that's 1,000, 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, so this is 11, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, so 11, 85, 95, and that's 1,200. Um, I did want to say, if this is your first time here, this is my cash stuffing that I do for a couple of farmer's markets that I do throughout the week for my uh, sourdough micro bakery. Um, and I will show off the bread that I have over here. I had a couple people um, kind of commenting on it. This week I've been working on baguettes um, and they've been turning out really, really good. I am very proud of them. Um, they kind of take a little bit of practice, a little bit more than the like regular bread that I do, which I'll show you. Um, this was one that I baked this morning too. Um, so yeah, for whatever reason, like these are the ones that I normally make. Um, and then this kind of has a similar recipe, but the shaping technique is obviously a lot different. So it just kind of took a little bit more practice, just like these did when I first started making them. But yeah, so that's kind of some of the bread for this week. Um, I think that if y'all enjoy it. I'll kind of show you a couple of things that I make week to week because while I have kind of my like staple items that I'm always bringing to market with me, um, I do kind of like to switch things up as far as flavors go and um, certain things that are like in season and things like that. Um, I believe I have, I don't know, hold on. I don't know if y'all will be able to see it very much, but like this is one of the different flavors that I did. So this is one that I did really for Father's Day, but it was popular with a lot of the customers. So I told them I'd do another week of it. And this is actually maple bacon. So you can see like the little um, like pieces of bacon. And then um, I'll put a picture up on the screen of kind of like what it looks like in the center. But it's really nice. I actually really, really like the flavor. I might do it again for um, like in the fall or something like that um, because it's got a little bit of sweetness from the from the maple syrup and then I use like bacon fat in there so the bread is like extra squishy and it's just it's a really, really good flavor. I, I love that one. Um, but was there anything else I needed to tell y'all? Um, I did give a IVF update in my regular cash stuffing for the third week of June. So I'll put that up here just in case um, you want to go check that out because I don't want to have to like, I'll talk for like 10 minutes about it if I explain it all again. But we got some really exciting news. So go check out that video for that. And we're going to go ahead and get into this one because we have quite a few things to stuff. I am going to start in my business binder like I normally do with these particular videos since I am putting um, a good chunk of money that I earn from the sourdough micro bakery back into the business itself. So car maintenance is going to get $20. So it has 50, 70, 90, 100. Gas is going to get $50. So it has 5100 which is good because I did tell y'all again in that video that my car is in the shop for a week. So I will be using my husband's truck, which is a bit of a gas guzzler. So honestly, I'll probably need the whole $100. Growth is going to be getting these two $100 placeholders. This is representative of money that I keep in my Square um, checking account which Square is the app that I use to be able to take credit cards at the farmer's market. And what I do for ingredients and farmer's market fees is I just keep that money on that card. Um, and then that way I'm not having to 
pull it out for the cash stuffings just to stuff it right back in to continue to buy ingredients for the bakery. Let's see. Cell phone is going to get $40. So 20 40 So it has 20 40 60 80 100 And then marketing will be getting ten dollars. So it has twenty, forty, fifty, sixty. Supplies is going to be getting seventy dollars. So fifty, seventy. So it has 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 145, 50. So 150 in supplies. And then this savings challenge is for my bread oven. And it's going to be getting $120. And I do think that the placeholders in this particular um, envelope are off by 200 I believe, which is okay because once um, I like take some of this money back to the bank, I'll be able to put in a $500 placeholder. Um, but basically before I added this 120, I was at 1440. Um, so now I'm going to have 1560 in here. Um, so one, two, three, four, 20, 40, 60. Yep. So I'm off by, what did I say? One, maybe it was two. I don't know. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I know that I'm off with hundred dollar placeholders just because I don't have near enough of them. So, oh, well, let me get this colored in. So that way I know at least with the, I try not to get off with $100 uh, placeholders in my, just like my sinking funds and things like that because I don't have a tracker in there. But these ones where I'm doing a savings challenge and I have a tracker of how much is in there, whether it's in the actual envelope or in my high yield savings account, you know, um, those are the ones that I will kind of let the placeholders go off a little bit if I need to. Um, but yeah, and then that is it in my business binder. So we're going to jump back to the beginning in my everyday binder and groceries is going to get $50. So it has 57, or I'm sorry, 50, 150, 60, 70. So 170 dining out is going to get 20. So it has 20, 40, 60. Spending will be getting $50. So it has 50, 150, 70, 90, and that's 210 in spending. So, and I think some of this will probably come with me to the beach this weekend, um, this past weekend, by the time that y'all are seeing this, most likely. Pets is going to be getting 25. So it has 20, 40, 60, 85, 90. And then last one is going to be self care, and that's going to be getting $30. So it has 20, 40, 50, 60, 75. Got a little out of order there. All right, and that's going to be it for my everyday binder. Moving on to sinking funds, we will stuff a few in here. Date night is going to be getting ten dollars. So it has twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty-five. Baby fund is also getting ten. So it has one two hundred in my high yield savings account. Twenty. I'm sorry, 10, 20, 35. I, uh, counting has not been on it today. 
My health envelope, which is for my health insurance premium, is going to get $150. So it has one $200 in my high yield savings account, $350, $400. And then the medical envelope is getting $10. So it has 100 in my high yield savings account, 10, 20, 30, 40. So 140 in there. Vacation is going to get $60. So 50, 50. And 60, so vacation has 100 in the high yield savings account, 50, 70, 90, 200. Which the 100 that's in my high yield savings account, I've probably already transferred into my checking account to help pay for the accommodations for the weekend. And then the other 100 in cash, I'll probably just bring with me. Um, and then we're going to skip back to miscellaneous, and it's going to get $5. So it has 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 35 in there. And that's going to be it for my sinking funds. We don't need to go into my holiday binder because I am all done with Christmas and Black Friday and I really only so the only thing I'm stuffing right now in there is Halloween and because it is such a low amount I really just stuff it with my regular cash stuffing so that means we're going to move into Homestead and bulk shopping is going to be getting $20 so it has $20.40 Let's see, household is getting $5. So it has 5, 10, 15, 25, 30. House maintenance is also getting 5. So it has 50, 70, 5, 85, 90. And then, uh, let's see, next one is feed. So that's going to be getting $20. So it has 20, 30, 45. And last one in here is going to be electric. And it's going to get that last 20. So it has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 50. So 150 in electric, which I believe is due... Probably by the time that y'all see this video, I'll have unstuffed that and paid it for the month of June. So that'll be empty the next time that you see it. Um, and then the last thing that we're going to do is my debt binder. And we're going to stuff the rest of this in my extra debt envelope, which it should be $200. So one, two. So in my... Excuse me, in my extra debt, I've got 100, 200, 350. All right. And that is going to be it for this week's Farmer's Market Cash Shuffing. I hope that y'all enjoyed. Um, you will be getting a few videos this week because I'm trying to get back current um, with all of my videos and everything. So I believe you're going to have this one and then my two cash stuffings for the fourth week of June um and then at some point I need to get the cash cut oh my gosh I can't even talk the cash condensing video for the end of June filmed and uploaded at some point for y'all too so literally by the time that I catch back up I'll be behind a little bit <laughs> again but I pre appreciate y'all's patience with everything I hope that you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video bye y'all